Hi, I'm Rich Wyatt. Welcome to GunsmokeGunsTV.com. Okay guys, welcome to Gunsmoke's General Pistol class. Thanks a lot for coming. Now I, uh, when I took this class, it was a life changer for me. And I know that sounds a little bit trite, but it really did change things. I was already uh, working for the police department and doing a variety of different things. And I came and took Jeff Cooper's General Pistol class. And uh, it really changed the way I looked at things and the way I handled things. And the way I was able to be in control of my environment. So that's what we're hoping to teach you. Now, if you're here to learn how to shoot for com competition, you'll do great. If you're here just to learn how to shoot for fun, you'll do great. And you'll see that we have a wide variety of students. My name's Rich Wyatt, and my background, I've been a firearms instructor for over 30 years. I've, I'm certified by the NRA, the FBI, and the Post Board, which is Police Officer Standards and Training here in Colorado. I've taught thousands and thousands of students in the private sector and in law enforcement. Um, I uh, worked for Aurora Police Department. I retired as uh, chief of police from the thriving metropolis of Alma. If you've ever been up there, it's a very small department in the mountains, but uh, that's where I was. It's right next to Pump Handle PD, and uh, that's where I was uh, chief. Um, I'm a gunsmith by trade. I moved to Colorado to go to gunsmithing school and become a gunsmith. And uh, I got all those certifications to be a firearms instructor, but the best one that I received, my highest honor in the firearms industry, is working for Colonel Jeff Cooper. And uh, for those of you that don't know who he was, he was known as the father of modern pistol craft. And Colonel Cooper uh, wrote a column in Guns and Ammo magazine from the day that Guns and Ammo magazine started until the day that he died in 2006 when we lost him. He uh, was a Marine Corps colonel and started uh, the firearms training unit out in the Quantico, uh, Virginia area and had a lot of history uh, with guns, designed some guns and, and did quite a bit. Um, he certified six people in the country as master firearms instructor. I happen to be selected as one of those people. And what that authorized us to do was to teach his doctrine without him being present. So what we want to do next is go around the room, have each one of you introduce yourself, tell us who you are, what you do, because that's interesting, right? And where you come from, and what firearms training you've had in the past, and then what you hope or expect to get out of the, your, your week of training here, okay? My name is Jerry Creddy. Um, I was a, my, my field is horticulture. I did it uh, with my ex, did a radio show in Denver for 20 <coughs> years um, on a couple of different stations, and um, we moved out to the country because we were raising four kids and uh, three of them boys and couldn't keep them enclosed in our little yard in town so uh, we gave them some space to run and they all cleaned to wanting to learn how to use a gun and I never grew up with guns, um, never had a great want to learn how to use a gun and uh, at one time had a hatred. Um, but since then, um, I don't know, just recently, I've, I, I started working at a hardware store out there and you would hear things from people in the community about what was going on and stuff. And the more I've, now that my kids have grown up and they all knew how to use the gun and they're not in the home anymore, I thought, you know, I better straighten up and, and figure it out. And I guess with everything that's going on in the world as well, I... Uh, I realized that it would take a long response time for somebody to come out where I am, so it's best to know how to protect myself. And, and I've started taking care of my parents, so um, I kind of have a responsibility to them as well. See what you got? Okay, that looks good. All right, 1911, very nice. She's ready to go. The first thing 
uh, that we want to talk about is the stance. You're going to stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. Your strong foot, if you're right-handed, that'll be your right foot, is slightly back, and your arms are straight out in front of you. This is called a modified weaver stance. This left arm is bent in, and the strong arm is almost straight, not completely locked, but almost straight right out in front of you. And you're leaning forward over your knees into the thread a little bit, like you're getting ready to throw a punch, okay? Uh, then is the grip. The next thing is the grip. You take the gun and you lay it into your hand like so, so the gun and the line of sight is in line with your forearm, like so. Wrapping these three lower fingers around the frame, these are the only fingers that we squeeze with right here. We pull the gun back firmly into the palm of our hand, okay, right into the palm of our hand. Now when you get the grip, you want it to be nice and solid, locking your wrist up here so the wrist doesn't move, and you just lay your strong hand into your weak hand, fill in this gap right here with this meaty portion of your hand, and then just wrap it around the hand. Now we're not squeezing with this hand, we're going to push with our strong hand and pull back with our weak hand, and that creates isometric tension. So as the gun goes off, boom, it just snaps right back down on the target when it recoils, okay? If you've got a 1911 style pistol, uh, if you don't, I'm sorry for you, but if you do have one, then I just want you to put your thumb on top of the safety just like so. Does your M&P have a safety or not? No? Okay. The M&P, which is one of the uh, safe action polymer pistols, comes with a safety or without, which is pretty cool. I recommend get it with the safety. Okay? So, hands just lay like this, thumb on top of the safety. All right? And that's our proper stance. Gunpoint! Guard! Look at the front side, focus on the front side, lean into it, get aggressive. This is going to be one shot. Fire! Oh. Oh. Look! Press! Look! Press! Up! Look! Press! Don't forget that follow through. Don't forget to follow through. Up! Look! Press! Guard position. Finger straight. Safety's on. Holster. Fire! Ooh, man, you were almost not last that time. I'm serious. Guard. Close. Finger straight. This drill simulates something that happened in Italy in 1981. Brigadier General James Dozier came out of his hotel room door and waiting for him in the hallway were five members of the communist uh, Red Brigade waiting to kill him, kidnap his wife. And uh, they were dressed as plumbers uh, without pipe wrenches, with firearms. And so Colonel Cooper set up this drill to see what would happen if General Dozier had been on his game, uh, come out of the door at yellow, gone up to red, it had a gun. How long would it have taken him to lay down those five guys in the hallway? Shooter ready? Stand by. Guard and holster. Shooter ready? Stand by. Stand by. Fire. Before I came to class today, I had firearms training with Rich. I had a three day class, uh, and I'm taking it again. So, because I learned so much the first time, I had to refresh my skills and learn a lot more now. I think we live in a very dangerous right, world, the, and I think it's very wise to pick up as many skills as you can. I'd encourage command. kids to um, 
Move to your Not left. so much let their fear conquer them Cheers and their ready. fear failing, Stand but to by. just get out there and do it. First day, obviously, I was Stand like, by. wow, overwhelmed. Fire. I couldn't believe all the steps of how to draw, how to <laughs> hold a pistol. Um, so from the first day to now, I can't believe what I've learned. I feel like I'm night and day difference. Um, but it's been a great experience. I mean, through all the relays and the timed um, draws, and it's been awesome. But yes, I feel I am definitely the most improved bar none. I am a newcomer to guns. Um, I lost a sister about 30 years ago to guns, and I stayed away from them. I just didn't want to get involved with them, and I um, received a gun for my birthday, a pistol, and uh, the more I've been urged by a couple of people to just go out and try it. I, I found there was an interest. So um, I took a, a small little class about three weeks ago on getting my concealed carry, but I knew I wasn't capable of carrying a weapon at that point. I really need training. I want the best. And um, I have become so much more confident. Um, I feel like I can protect my family, my parents, whom I watch. And um, I, I really feel more confident just in the yeah, world itself nothing, and and that was part of the reason why I started yeah, searching for guns was because of what was going on I looked back I saw how defenseless my sister was at that point I didn't want to ever be in that position so I decided to to start with pistols and maybe move on to rifles I would say if you love your family at all if you look at your little kids or you look at your your parents who are elderly um, what would you do to save them? Um, there's not much from what they're doing with, around the world today. Terrorist attacks, other things like that. They're very brutal. Uh, if you had the ability to defend yourself and your family, and, and the thing about these classes, it's not about killing. It's about being defensive and being ready in all situations and preventing bad things from happening. If you can't prevent the bad people, but it's about preventing bad things from happening if you have that ability and the knowledge. And that's what's key, is having the knowledge, the, the frame of mind to know what to look for, and then the knowledge here, because this is your protector when you get pushed to the back, to the wall. Um, you do have something to go to.